399 days until Star Wars Celebration 2016. Excuse me while I'm looking at my phone, I don't want to be rude, but I'm going to bring up my questions because today is my video for my Q&A. Um, so first of all, I'd like to thank everyone who posted uh, questions um, for me. Um, I appreciate that, and um, yes, without further ado, let's get cracking. So, Sam's Comic Corner. Hello, Sammy. Um, congrats on the three years. Here's to m many more, my amazing friend. Thank you. Here we go. Number one, what's your favourite and least favourite co comic story arc so far this year? Hmm. Least favourite would be Spider-Gwen, um, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, I would probably say that Star Wars would be my favourite um, so far. I'm really, really enjoying that. I like how Darth Vader and Star Wars are kind of intertwined. Um, Leia, not so much. I'm looking forward to the Lando one. Uh, number two, an alien arrives on Earth for the first time. Describe in no more than eight words why he should read comics. Hmm. An escape from reality and no limits anywhere. There we go. Oh, hit the wrong button. Oh. Uh, number three, what's your most embarrassing movie in my collection? It's not really embarrassing, but I would probably say that The Wizard with Fred Savage, which is kind of like an under... Like, not a lot of people know about it, unless you're, like, a uh, avid video game fan. Um, basically, him and his brother go to California to enter the Nintendo Video Game Championship. That's why you would have seen Fred Savage tweet about that um, a couple of weeks ago. So, that's why. Darth Maul, Count Dooku, or General Grievous, and why? Ugh... I'd probably say Count Dooku, um, due to the recent events of Chris Lee passing away as well. Um, I just preferred his character, General Grievous. Obviously, was only in episode 3, Darth Maul was in episode 1, fair enough, Count Dooku was in episode 2 and a little bit of 3, but I just loved his voice, um, his mannerisms and things, so that's why I would go for Dooku. If you were forced to sing karaoke, what song would you choose? Real American by Rick Derrigan, or however it's called. Uh, feeling that I would sing um, Let It Be by the Beatles, I'd imagine. Show us your favourite item in your room and why it is your favourite. Big Hulk statue there from Mr. Mike Lacey. That was a Christmas present. That was just awesome. Um, it wasn't something that I expected and just something that sits well and is always, you know, pride place. So thank you, Sam. Rob in Nico's Corner. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, Spider-Man or Superman? Spider-Man. You're being tortured by Superman? Is it? You need to choose to be in a room filled up with your neck with My Little Pony figures or a load of kitty figures for 24 hours. My Little Pony, because My Little Pony has different figures, whereas um, Hello Kitty just seems to have the cat. Or is it a cat? No, it's like a girl or something. Drink of water for the working man, um, as Stone Cold Steve Austin says. Um... Yeah, so yeah, I can choose one Batmobile kit or Chitty Chitty Bang Bang kit by Country Mile because if I fall asleep, he can drive Turbo Boost. Um, it only opens whenever I touch the handle. It won't open for anyone else. And it gives me somebody to talk to on those long drives um, as well. So there, Han or Luke, Han Solo, without a doubt. I think the Star Wars saga is more... For me, it's more about Han Solo than it is about Luke Skywalker, if that makes sense. Han Solo is more of a um, a fun character than Luke Skywalker is. Uh, briefs or boxers? That remains a secret. Uh, apple upside down kick or Donegal oatmeal cream? Apple upside down kick. I don't even know what that is, if I'm honest. Um, it was said chocolate fudge um, brownie. Fine. Hot chocolate fudge cake. Even better. My Holy Grail comic is Hulk 181 and Spider Man 121. That one there. And the one before it as well. Your favourite Pokemon? Charizard! Um, Charizard was always class and he would always be. Charmander um, would always be the Pokemon I would choose because I always wanted to have a Charizard. So thank you for that. 
Blade H12 um, says you have a choice of any blank variant. Who would you choose? What which would you choose, and what artists would you have drawn on? Oh, and congrats on the three years. Thank you very much, sir. Um, I would probably choose a Hulk one. So, like, I have a plan Hulk one, and I'll get Scotty Young to draw me um, with Hulk. Uh, you know the way there's the um, the Hulk cover that has Hulk and then has Banner in front of him. I would get it drawn like that. I think that would look really cool. Uh, Punisher eighty eight um, says, "Okay, question time, huh?" And game. Here's a few for it. favorite Spider Man costume. Just the, the, the standard costume. You don't really mess with perfection, to be honest. Favorite Iron Man suit. Um, probably the Hulkbuster suit. I would say after watching Age of Ultron, things like that. Um, oh, the Hulk and Juggernaut are in. Oh, my phone is just decided to be weird here are in a bar and they're throwing pints back left and right and when one challenges the other to an arm wrestling match who wins um the hulk wins um the hulk would just get angrier and angrier if he's not winning and he'd probably end up breaking the juggernaut's arm or something so i would say that the hulk would win hulk smash hulk could wrestle arm wrestle Sylvester sloan over the top there's a match book it and my final question, all the hell breaks loose in LA and for some strange and Deadpool happens to be hanging around and someone anonymously calls in the Punisher. How do you predict this conversation? Conversation? <clears throat> Confrontation will play out. Well, Deadpool is the merc with a mouth and the Punisher is one of the most badass characters that there is. Obviously, Shane from Walking Dead is going to play him in season two. I need to watch season one. Which ties me on the next to the next question, but anyway, um, so yeah, I think there would be a lot of traps set by the Punisher for Deadpool, um, and Deadpool would either you know because he's immortal, you know, he would just kept you know like he wouldn't die, and then the Punisher would just get fed up, and then I think the Punisher would just shit him in the face, and then just go, you know just go right hand off this, and then go away, um, and just leave him like that. So. Um, Millie Akers. Hello, Millie. Bye. Um, I love the way Millie always says bye at the end of the video. I can't even do it. So, um, uh, Millie says, Chris, take these questions. What is your favourite non-comic book TV show? 24. Um, I was just one of those ones that every Sunday I would come home from work, have my dinner, and would say to my parents, I'm watching 24, don't disturb me, and we'd just wait and see what um, goodness would transpire. It's always a case of, you know, we'd see what Jack what happened with Jack Barr and then that'd be resolved and there'd be like another three or four storylines would just pan off from that. It's addictive viewing and especially with being on Netflix, it's a case of um instead of watching one episode, you end up watching about five or six. And that's one bad thing, but one good thing. You know, like if you've got a couple of days off work, go ahead and watch them. But I just love Jack Barr is probably one of my favourite um TV characters of all time, um, up there with Gene Hunt from Life on Mars, not the Harvey Keitel version, the uh, Philip Glenister one. Favourite beverage would be vanilla coke, which I actually have in the fridge, which I'm going to have later on. If you could have any action figure of any character, who would you want? Hmm. I would probably want a... I did have one of these, and I would like to get one of the newer ones. There's the Snake Armor uh, Master Universe Classic figure. Um, that's my favourite um, outfit of He-Man. It kind of has like a shoulder pad, and then he's got like a kind of a retractable claw that can actually, you know, grab snakes by the neck and throw them around or whatever. But that would be what I would say would be my favourite, um, what action figure I would love. So... Uh, Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire Spider-Man now this is funny because we talked about this in the comic book gents I said that I prefer Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker Peter Parker but I prefer Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man so I'm going to say Andrew Maguire um, for those so thank you very much uh, Millie next up is Kevin's Comics um, and he asks how did you choose your background I bought stuff and kind of they just went there, so that's kind of the background there. I'll just do it like this here from the rest of the lawn. 
Uh, which comic do you plan to buy soon? Well, funny you say that. Um, I did buy a comic and um, I did show it off on Twitter and I don't have it to hand, which was a He-Man Masters Universe um, variant cover, which was like an action figure variant, um, but with me heading to London Film Comic Con in five weeks today, um, I plan to kind of not spend as much between now and then, but probably spend more around then. Batman or Superman? Batman. Do you like sushi? I've never tried sushi, so I don't know, but it's raw fish, so I don't think that I would. Um, which non-comic related show do you love to watch? Just went over that with 24. Who do you think is the most under... Who do you think is the most underrated comic series right now? Hmm. I would say that... Um, I would say that He-Man The Eternity War doesn't have as much love as it should do. Um, it's a fantastic series and I think it's on issue 7 coming out. Um, but I just uh, really, really adored that series and thought it was very, very enjoyable. Um, I would say as well that um, the Storm and Cyclops series um, weren't showing much love, like Nova. Uh, a lot of ones I seem to collect that are, um, I don't really see in a lot of people's pulls. Um, you know, like things like that. So I would probably say that those would be those. So thank you for that. Um, now we have a like up and a like up for a lot of questions from Mercy's Little Sue, who says, ha ha ha, I love question time. Um, who would win in a fight between the crew of the Starship Enterprise and the crew of Serenity? I would say Starship Enterprise because I'm not that overly familiar with Serenity, but I would probably say that Star Destroyer would probably blow them both up. Uh, what's the name of the first comic shop you ever went into? Would be Forbidden Planet. Um, one there's three that I reg regularly go into in a friend Belfast, which are um, Forbidden Planet, which is like a you know like a nationwide chain um, comic book guys. Um, which are based in Belfast, and Atomic Comics, which is kind of like, as Robbie called it, a junk shop. Um, but it's just a case of it has like really, really old comics. Um, well, older comics, but it's it's not the best place to go into. It's not the most hospitable whenever it's a, a cold, rainy day. Um, who would win a hockey match, Casey Jones or Jason Voorhees? Uh, Casey Jones, because um, he's just badass, and I'm not really a fan of the... Like, the Freddy versus Jason things. That's just me. If I could visit one tourist destination anywhere in America, what would you choose? Probably Florida to go to um, Disneyland. Um, I know that there's like a lot of stuff to do there, but that's something that I would like to do. I've been to New York and I've been to New Orleans. So I want to go to somewhere new. Oh. Um, so that's where I would go to. Uh, what is an underrated movie that you think everyone should watch? I'm trying to look at my collection here to see what's an underrated movie of mine. I'm actually going to go with... I'm actually going to go with The Wizard um, that I was talking about earlier on because it's 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 such a... You know, like, it's one that the whole family can watch and especially with um, video games, you know, being so mainstream now as they are and, um, a lot, you know, like, retro gaming and things like that are still... Um, very popular, so I would say that. It has um, Christian Slater, Fred Savage and Bo Bridges in it as well. So, who do I think would win in a fight between Iceman and Human Torch? Iceman, because I think um, he is a more... Johnny Storm just seems to be too cocky, um, so I think that would be his downfall. Um, do you know what enchiladas are? I know that he asked, I think he asked that on Simon and Dave's um, question. So I think there's something to do with Mexican or Mexican food, but uh, I'm not really that big in Mexican food. Uh, who's a better photographer, Peter Parker or Jimmy Olsen? Peter Parker because he doesn't get in trouble half the time. Well, he doesn't get in trouble whenever he's photographing half the time. What's your favorite number? Seven. Uh, Princess Leia or Queen Amidala? Queen Amidala because she is lovely. Um, isn't a Segway that funny looking thing that Paul Blart rides? Probably. Um, there's two films of them, so we should know. Hulk Hogan rides it around his, well, whenever he was married and Hogan knows best. 
So thank you, Mercy, for those questions. Uh, JC the Comic Geek says, What hobby would you want to do if you could only pick one for the rest of your life? Wrestling, games, comics, toys. That's a tough one, because I know with some other people he said TV shows, um, which would be the one that I would pick, but because that's not there, I would probably go with... I'd probably go with games, because... Well, with some games, you know, like you're going to have, you know, so many hours to play into. Whereas, um, comic books, um, comic books are great, don't get me wrong, but it's just a case of I'll do something for the rest of my life. Who knows where comic books may be, whereas then, you know, video games have so many different platforms to choose as well. Whereas comic books, sometimes I need to be in the mood to sit down and read like a big, like, like my Mass Effect book, which is there. I have to be in the mood to sit down to read that from cover to cover. Um, whereas a video game, I could just sit down and play for five or ten minutes or whatever. So that's what would be, what would be I would, what I would choose. My good friend Johnny Comic Book Geek One asks, "What comic book TV show are you most looking forward to next season?" Um, probably Flash, um, to see how it gets resolved. Um, Arrow as well, obviously. Um, I be looking forward to Supergirl. Um, because he asks how awesome was the leaked uh, pilot, and I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Um, I've heard it's very good, um, as mu much as you know, like you could say that from a pilot, really. But um, Supergirl doesn't need a pilot. Oh, because of that. That's the joke. Um, favorite comic you own? That is really. My favourite comic that I own is yet to be in my possession. And, and you know what I'm talking about, Johnny. You of all people know what I'm talking about. So that, I'll leave it at that. So Sleepy Reader 666 um, says, Who was the first comic book artist you became aware of? Um, I would probably say that Scotty Young would have been. I remember just flicking through a book and seeing his art and then thinking that it was kind of cool and kind of cute. And um, kind of did that. Um, it's only now that I'm kind of getting familiar with names and um, of artists and writers and things like that. So um, obviously there's teams that work well together, and there's ones that you read and you're like, oh, this is kind of a bit weird. Um, but yeah, I'd probably say that Scotty Young. I think that's why he's my fa favorite artist because he's the one whose art I love the most. Uh, if you had to choose which is more important, the writer or the artist, for your enjoyment of the book, I would say the writer, um, because with the writing you're going to get a brilliant storyline, but you can kind of look past the art. If you're in, if you're involved in the storyline, that's going to be the most important thing rather than the art. The art could look beautiful. I would always say it's like having a really attractive woman stand in front of you but has no personality whatsoever. Whereas you could have somebody that is maybe not as attractive as her, but has a better personality and is, you know, like that way, if that makes sense. You know, so I would always go for the one that has the better storyline, has the better personality, because that's something that you're going to, you know, um, that's something that you're going to enjoy being around is somebody that makes you laugh, somebody that, you know, gets your emotions going like it does in a story. You know, like, so you, you're going to be happy, sad, um, you're going to sit, you take a breath once you finish reading and going, whoa, that was really good. Um, but yeah, that's what I would say um, for that. So thank you very much for that. Uh, Dave Munns, uh, shout out to you, sir. I've already done your shout out, so. Um, Dave asks if I can get this to work properly. This is the thing about copying this from YouTube. It's just a pain in the backside. Um, I think the first question is, um, okay, I think that there's some of these that have actually gone missing here, so this is fun. Modern technology and its wonderments, folks. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Well, anyway, he asks about um, uh, being part of the Rebel Alliance or, ah, uh, what are you doing? 
Um, you're part of the Rebel Alliance, you have to take a group of soldiers on a mission, which Star Wars... I think it's which Star Wars characters would I choose to go on my mission. So I would choose Han Solo, I would choose... Alright, so I would choose Han. I would choose uh, Lando. I would choose Wedge. And I would choose me. And Chewie as well. So that would be the Fantastic Five. So that would be who I would choose to go on my mission um, together with. Uh, I'm just going to double check just to make sure that um, that's whenever... That's the one that he said. Um, oh dear, dear. So yes, as I say, thank you for everyone who um, posted questions for me while I bring this here up from uh, Mr. Mullins. Da, da, da. Yeah, so you're taking your part of the Rebel Alliance with Star Wars com uh, characters. Do you choose? So there we go. What is your favorite Star uh, comic book story arc? I said earlier on I really enjoyed the I'm really enjoying the Star Wars one, but I really did enjoy the. Hulk versus Iron Man and the Hulk who shot Banner um, storyline as well. I know that they brought that the M out in the trade. Um, Birthright, I really enjoyed, like really, really enjoyed. Saga, I really enjoyed um, as well. There's just so many of them that you can't just say, you know, like I only enjoyed this one. Um, how I could go back to 1977 to see the Star Wars premiere, which theatre would I go to and who would I take with me? Oof. Well, you want to take you want to take the people who mean the most to you. So you want to take your close friends and your family, and you want to experience that with them. So having said that, I would take all the people that are going um, on our adventure to Star Wars Celebration uh, next year. I would take them back in time to nineteen seventy seven, so we could all sit down together, and we've had our Men in Black's happened, and we've had our memories erased, and we're going to sit down and watch this film all together and see what our reaction is and I would also take my dad with me as well because he's the reason well like as I said in previous videos my first memory is watching The Return of the Jedi in the cinema with my dad and excuse me and um, laughing at the Ewok on the speederbike going around so for that reason that's why I would want to go back to that theatre um, I know it was one in Belfast like it wouldn't be like a state of the art one um, but that's one I would want to go back to because then I could say that I've watched that one there and then I've watched the um, Return of the Jedi one there as well. So that's what I would like to do. So yes, so as I said before, sorry about all the... Um, I copied and pasted them and it just did not want to work. So apologies for the t um, technical hitches there. Um, but thank you for everyone who um, sent in questions to me. Uh, thank you to everyone who subscribes and talks to me on, you know, like leaves comments on YouTube. I always enjoy reading them. Even though lately, um, you may notice that I'm not commenting back as much. That's because I'm not getting email confirmations from YouTube to say that I actually have comments on my videos. So it's a case of me going in and having to check. I know Mercy's having problems leaving comments. Um, so I'm having to check my, um, my videos on a regular basis to see if there's any new comments there. I'm doing it that way. Um, you know, like there's so many people that I've I've met doing this. You know, I've been on YouTube for three years. I've been doing this comic book stuff for just over a year um, now, um, and I've met so many wonderful people, and um, you know, read so many wonderful books and things like that. So it's a great community, and I only just wish that I got into it. You know, like many years ago, but um, I think it's a case of. You know, you live and learn. Um, you know, I don't really watch a lot of the wrestling now, so this seems to have like taken place that instead of sitting down to watch three hours of Raw every Tuesday, or sorry, an hour of it, because you just fast forward through the majority of the things. Um, I'd probably sit down and read a couple of comics and, you know, watch people's YouTube videos. I always look forward to Thursdays because obviously with it being late here, um, you guys don't post your comic calls, you know, like... Uh, there's always, you know, like the usual hitters, like Millie Acres running with comics, um, Mercy, whenever she posts hers, um, like Robbie does his a couple of weeks behind, Mark um, Newton, isn't it Newton? I think he's spelling it differently now, I can't remember what it is. Um, you know, like, and there's so many that I go through the feed, Baggin, Born and Bad Boy, is always one of my favourites, uh, Zaphod's comics, um, 
uh, sparkle fists um, as well. Her editing is just amazing. Um, and I love, like, oh, Sammy Reeds as well. Oh, she is just, um, that music, oh, it's just so good, so good. Um, you know, and but there's so many other people that post here and there, like this, um, Cranes Comics, hashtag Nerd Friends, Robin Nico, What's in the Box, you know, like, comic vlog, blog, blow up, bomb thing, um, Spidey Sense 101, um, there's just, like, there's just so many that I enjoy talking to, you know, and there's just so many people that, um, you know, like, I apologise if I left anyone out, but uh, I'm just trying to think of people that are always, you know, like, I talk to most on Twitter and things like that, and they would be the ones. Uh, oh, and, um, my sister, um, has, um, Reader1717 as well. I nearly forgot her. Um, that would have been terrible. I think it would have been uh, separated forever now. Um, but yeah, so um, I've gone on for near enough 25 minutes. So as I said, thank you very much for um, watching this video. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. I think I'm like 15 subscribers away from 500. Once I hit 500, I hopefully will do a giveaway and things like that. Um, which will just require like video responses and such. So thank you as always for your support. Thank you always for your ongoing friendship. Thank you always for commenting. And thank you always for being there. And thank you always. Until next time. Did I say thank you? Thanks, I suppose. Bye.